my name is Amy Smith. I'm a contemporary artist, street artist, muralist in Los Angeles. Um, I started out making art that I just felt really strongly about when I was um, creating work that was contemporary. It, it was more, um, more about uh, cityscapes and things like that. And then I kind of transitioned into making art um, focusing on women. And I did that because I felt like women were underrepresented in art and the art world and the art scene. And I also wanted to express the view of a female artist and a different viewpoint. Um, that I had been seeing in art that was more of an objective um, way of seeing women portrayed in art. So I really started focusing on how I could create powerful imagery that represented all women, women, a diverse collection of women, and started just sharing how I wanted people to see us, to see women in a way that was powerful, and um, that kind of transitioned into my love of um, politics and activism. So for a while, I didn't really understand how to navigate that world, and um, I didn't know how I fit in that world because I really didn't feel like an activist. I just felt like an artist. So I knew that there were people doing lot, a lot more than me just making artwork. They were people protesting. There were people um, creating campaigns that were, you know, worldwide. I knew that I, I knew that um, I. I wanted to belong somewhere, but I didn't exactly know where. So I started making art about activism, about uh, in relation to activism, um, about specific issues. I've made art surrounded by equal pay, uh, voting, um, uh, women's rights. Um, just, I kind of, I, I feel like it, it's run, uh, it's run the gamut of, of many different themes, but all of it is very much around social justice, environmental justice, and things like that, and mental health, and women's rights. Um, so I realized that I could use my gifts and use it in a way that I could create awareness, create a message, create uh, motivation um, around certain issues and certain ideas. Um, and then I realized I could work with companies and different um, politically motivated um, companies that give back to other uh, nonprofit organizations like this company here that um, I made this hat for. They're called Creative Action Network. And by me creating the artwork, it allows them to sell products and give back a percentage to these nonprofits that are doing additional work. So it Art activism really created for me the space to use my gifts and use um, what I love in tandem to activists and nonprofits that are also doing work towards the same goal. So I found that to be very inspiring and very motivational understanding that that is a way for me to contribute. So here I created a series 
Um, and these are prints. And these are kind of focusing on women, iconic women. A lot of times I felt like in the pop art world or even the street art world, um, a lot of it is male centric and it's not um, it's not of substance to, to me the way that I like to see it um, of substance. So for me, creating this artwork is a way that I can create another conversation around how you see people and what their uh, accomplishments were, what they gave back, and um, what they were advocates for. Like this Carrie Fisher piece, a lot of people see it and they just think of Princess Leia. But her advocacy towards mental health was tremendous. And I just feel like it's another way to have a conversation about um, our individual um, con contributions and also advocacy and um, and yeah, so that's kind of, that's what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on all the ways that I can contribute in an artistic way and just stay in that, you know, kind of use my efforts and use my gifts to give back uh, in a way that I can help, I can help others. So to me, that's what art advocacy or um, an art activist is, it's, it's, working in tandem, working with other people that are um, also working towards the same goal. So, um, yeah, so I hope that uh, helps and uh, is motivational in some kind of way. And uh, I just appreciate that uh, you're learning about this and um, can't wait to hear all about it. So thank you so much. Again, my name is Amy Smith and um, I'm always available to answer any questions, so thank you so much.